Jen Jell on YouTube. I'm planning to process the I-130 this year based on a marriage petition, but during 2019, I had a removal notice, but I didn't attend any hearing. As I checked recently, it was closed due to non-prosecution. What should I do? Well, if, you're, if your removal hearing was closed, you gotta recalendar it to get it terminated. There's a difference between closed and terminated. So we got to figure out exactly what happened and then go from there. Jennifer Lynn on YouTube. I was married once to a Jamaican man. It ended badly as he was not honest about his true intentions for the marriage, even though we lived together as husband and wife. The separation occurred in May 2020, but during the divorce process, the I-130 and 485 were withdrawn for him and his son, whom I'm spon who I was sponsoring. Uh, the divorce was finalized February 25th, 2021. In late 2021, I began d dating another Jamaican man and we were married on uh, 2 2022 so we will uh, eventually file to adjust the status with my ex I did all the filings myself with my new husband should I have an attorney based of what I went through with the first what happens when you ask if you need an attorney yeah like that's literally all you had to ask that's is should I get an attorney, attorney right <laughs> and first of all yes you're allowed to fall in love fall out of love, fall in love again. But what happens is, is if you keep showing up, especially in this short period of time, sponsoring different husbands, immigration's going to think maybe this is your business, getting married to people and filing. But if you was a legitimate marriage, didn't work out, and then you fall in love again, there's nothing wrong with that. 50% of America falls in and out of love, marries, divorces, marries. Tia on YouTube, I'm in the U.S. waiting on approval of I-601A that was filed in 2020. My child, who is a derivative on my I-130, turned 19 and is accruing unlawful status because of his long delay. What should I do? How is she getting her green card? Uh, I'm in the U.S. waiting on the approval of the I-601A that was filed in 2020. So the child is a derivative on the how, I-130. How old is the child now? Turned 19 child needs his or her own 601a the child doesn't derive um a waiver through your waiver each person needs their own separate 601a start a 601a for your child may on youtube i finally got an interview date in jamaica in a few weeks is it okay to take my three-year tax rec records or do i have to request tax transcripts from the IR irs you can take your tax records a lot of times they ask for the transcripts so try to get them by the way, on that last question, another another way the 19-year-old can go is do a SIG if there's no father involved. Mm. No father in the picture. All right. Yeah. Karib on YouTube. If you have a pending asylum, can you get a green card through your employer? If so, please We answered give... that question. That okay. Was that was quit. Okay. Oh, yes. yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, Idalma Sosa on Facebook. I had my AOS, uh, USCIS spouse, interview three weeks ago. Interview went well, but my case is on hold for review. Could uh, What could be a reason to keep my case on hold for review? They don't believe it's a real marriage. They think you're committing fraud. You have a criminal record, something in your background. You completed the application wrong. The immigration officer fell asleep. <laughs> well, sorts of different reasons. They are not doing their job. I know with a thousand reasons why. Yeah. Carrie Berry on YouTube, got my citizenship through my mom. I got my US passport, but now I'm married uh, and want to file for my husband. Can I use my passport or do I have to file for a citizenship certificate? If so, what form? You can use a passport as proof that you're a citizen to file an adjustment for a spouse. IK on YouTube, uh, my friend did not receive her second VAWA extension letter. She's now out of status. What should she do? Contact a good lawyer. And a gay on uh, Biggs on YouTube. My friend is here on a J-1 visa and she's a section uh, 212E bearer. Two years uh, rule does apply. Doesn't she have to go home back uh, when she files her paperwork? Uh, yeah, she has a J visa with a two year home residence requirement. She has to go home unless she can get a waiver, either through no objection letter from her government 
or extreme and unusual hardship to her spouse or uh, children. Shakira on YouTube, I came in without inspection in 1992, had a removal order, but stayed here. I got married to a U.S. citizen in 2004 and have an 18-year-old daughter. My I-130 is approved. Can we just adjust the status now? No, you got to reopen your removal case. And last one, Burrell Aris on Facebook. I sent my N-400 about two weeks ago. I received a couple letters. One said that they'll be using my fingerprints from, I guess, my green card. Is that a good sign? And what's the next step uh, It's, ne it's neither a good sign or a bad sign. It's just they're saying, we already have your fingerprints. We don't need them again. Don't look too much into it. It's just straightforward information. By the way, you don't need to take a fingerprint again. So it's a good sign that you don't have to waste a day going there. Is it a sign that you're gonna get approved? No, just they're using your fingerprints again. All right. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.